hello folks so in this uh, video i am going to basically create an image out of the uh, uh, docker file which we created in the previous video so in the previous video we basically created requirements.txt file and prior to that we created this uh, docker file right so we are going to create an image out of this docker file now and then we will run this uh, image uh, on a docker container to see if our uh, web app is working correctly okay uh, because before prior to you know uh, before uh, you know uh, moving on to cloud we need to make sure that it is running on local system perfectly first and then we will move it to cloud environment okay so without further delay let's run the command to build a docker image so docker build is the command for that and then we will create a tag and let's name the name of this image as ml2 cloud okay and the tag is latest one okay and then dot dot because uh, oh okay now first of all we need to go into my right directory where i have this docker file right so there are two ways i mean uh, instead of dot in the last i could have given the qualified path for this particular directory which is flask f flask sample app okay so uh, i either i could give uh, a command like docker build hyphen t ml2 cloud latest and the dot dot if i am in the folder where my docker file is present okay so i can give doc uh, dot otherwise i can give a qualified path of this docker file okay instead so instead of dot i can give f and then name of the folder etc but let me do it other way let me go inside my folder first so let me change the directory okay and then go inside f okay. cdf then cd flask sample app and now i am inside my folder you can see that the docker file is present here right so let me type this command docker build and then ml2 sorry hyphen t for tag then ml2 cloud latest and then dot and then press enter okay so you can see it is running all the commands here so fourth command was to basically get all the required packages from this requirements.txt it it is doing the same stuff here okay because as i told you i mean we need to have all these packages available or dependencies available in order to run our app.py file on docker or any other environment right so that's what it is doing here and once uh, these uh, commands get run and uh, the image will be created okay out of this file then we can uh, you know uh, run that image to create a docker container right and uh, after that we'll be running it on a uh, browser the command to basically see our app working over there right Okay, it is still building that image. One thing to uh, let you know. Uh, okay, so let me run this uh, Docker run command first. Then I will let you know the next step because there is one important thing which we need to keep in mind. If we have Docker toolbox in installed in our system, which we did, uh, you know, initially when we were starting this uh, Docker-related videos, right? 
so we basically installed the docker toolbox on our system right uh, because we didn't have uh, you know windows 10 pro on our system so that's why right okay because uh, when we run this command it will provide us with a link for the browser to run our uh, flask web app and we cannot run a local host uh, i mean we cannot run the or use the local host uh, or 127.0.0.1 uh, URL to run our web app because we are on uh, you know docker toolbox so let me uh, run the docker container so if you see docker images you can see that our image is created here ml2 cloud now we can run this image so docker run hyphen p and then we will give the port as 5000 5000 okay and then the name of the image ml2 cloud latest let me run this so now you can see that uh link is provided here one more thing i need to show you in your app.py you need to basically uh, mention host equals to app dot run host equals to 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0 otherwise if you don't uh, provide this host equals to 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 it will bind your browser with uh, default by default it will bind it with 127.0.0.1 that is local host so in order to uh, basically access this particular web app from outside world we need to give this host as this in which case it is not specifically bonding, uh, binding to 127.0.0.1 or local host okay so that's what it did and uh, in order to access this particular uh, link on browser what we need to do is we need to basically um, provide the ip of the docker docker container okay and the ip is https uh, 192 dot one six eight dot ninety nine dot hundred and then five thousand let's run this okay so looks like some issue here let me check real quick okay what is the issue here okay guys so the issue was uh, I gave HTTPS and then 192.1 since a dot 99 dot hundred then 5000 right so it was not working because I gave HTTPS so which is secure so let me give HTTP and it will open my application here so you now you can see also our application is opened here and this ip is the ip of the docker container okay the reason we didn't provide local host or 127.0.0.1 is because we are uh, we have installed docker toolbox here so due to that reason uh, we need to provide the ip of the docker container okay which is this 192.168.99.100 and then port 5000 which we basically provided here expose 5000 right so now our application is working very fine on local system on docker container so let's provide the values so let's say this is startup is this time it is present in california okay so it is present in California. The R&D spend is somewhere around one sixty thousand dollars. 
and the admin stand uh, admin spend is let us say two thirty one thousand dollars, and the marketing spend is let us say forty five hundred uh, sorry forty uh, four fifty thousand US dollars. So let's click submit button, and you will be able to see the prediction result here. Okay, so the profit prediction is one eighty nine thousand seven hundred twenty two. Uh, and 32 cents okay so our app is working very fine here on local system and docker container so now next step is to upload your uh, docker uh, file to docker hub basically so you can access through it azure so you can access that particular app through azure right so in the next video i'm going to cover that so keep on watching thank you